If you like science, enjoy problem solving, and have patience and persistence, consider becoming a chemist. Chemists research elements and compounds and work to develop a variety of products and processes. They may come up with new fuels, drugs, or foods. To research this interesting occupation, we visited a chemist. My name is David McGlade. I uh, work here at FX Life Science. Uh, I've been a chemist for about the last five years. As a chemist, we look at the interaction between atoms and how they bond together to make molecules. We also analyze molecules to not only quantitate them, but also uh, to identify what kind of compounds they come together as. As a chemist, you could work in specifically in a laboratory environment at a pharmaceutical company, at a school or university, possibly for a police department doing forensic analysis, that sort of thing. I specifically am an analytical chemist, so I will spend most of my time in a laboratory setting. In this lab, I do not only research and development, but quality control on current products that we have on the market. So in a typical day, I'll, I'll come here. Uh, generally, we will be doing uh, overnight analysis of, of, of specific compounds. So I'll have to come in and check the data from the previous night, analyze all of the results and ensure that they are correct. Um, and then I do both quality control and research and development. Uh, so quality control is very important here because we have to these products are being sent out for people, to, for people to consume. And in order for them to be efficacious, they have to have the right amount of each of ingredients in them. So it is critical, absolutely critical, that we analyze for each and every specific uh, component of, of these uh, capsules in, the, in that case. For R&D, we will be looking at mostly product development. And so we will take raw products, whatever it may be, we will try to come up with different ex extraction techniques and then we will also analyze those extractions to determine what kind of compounds are in there, what kind of compounds we're looking for to be in there, what kind of quantities are, are in there. My work day consists of a five day work week, approximately eight hours a day. Uh, I get all the weekends off, but there is occasionally some overtime when things are of great importance to get finished as soon as possible, then there is occasionally overtime. But it's a fairly standard eight hour workday. You not only work alone at times to get specific analysis done, but it's a real team environment where you have to talk to other coworkers all the time, supervisors, to go over the results that you obtain to make sure that you come up with a consensus for what it means. You have to constantly learn. What I learned in university was a lot about chemistry, but then when you come into a specific industry, you, not, you suddenly have to learn everything about that specific industry, about uh, all sorts of products that we have here, about all the specific analysis that has to be done. And in doing so, you need on-the-job training from people who are qualified and know exactly what they're doing. When we are hiring, uh, we look for First, uh, background, education background. Uh, we look for experience. And uh, of course, we look for somebody who has a good personality, uh, who can be a team player, uh, who can um, work well with others. So we look for all, all these qualities. The best part about being a chemist is having those small successes, coming in during the day and finding that what you wanted to run, what you wanted to get out of the day, that it worked, that suddenly you have an analysis that is coming out with the, the proper results, the results that you were expecting, the results that you needed, that you wanted, and it makes everything gratifying at that point. So it's very important to have a separation between work and life outside of work. After an eight-hour day, I'll want to go home and forget about work, and one of the ways that I'll do that is put on a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and go for a jog, forget about everything and just relax. And I think a good way to do that is by exercising. Somebody that wants to, or that would possibly consider a career in chemistry has to, 
have a curiosity about the world around them, uh, what makes up the world, what, what makes the world tick, and chemistry is a very fundamental look at what the world is made up of, not only people, plants, animals, everything around us is all chemistry. As a chemist, I'm extremely happy with, with what I do. I, I get to work with natural products that help people maintain health to prevent disease. I can't think of a better thing to do with any of my days. To become a chemist, you will typically need four to eight years of post-secondary study. If the occupation of chemists interests you, there's more information available, including educational requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profiles on ALICE. You may also be interested in the related occupations of forensic laboratory analyst, soil scientist, or toxicologist. Learn more on the ALICE website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca.